Hi, I'm Padre Friedman, Executive Director of the Seasteading Institute. Uh, this is my contribution to Scenario Land. So imagine it's 2025 and you live on a floating city. Your house has a modular base that's attached to the city out in the ocean. And you're young, so you're kind of in a hip partying part of the city. There's a lot of bars and nightclubs. You're thinking in a few years, maybe you're going to settle down, detach your house, move it over to the other side of the city where there's a lot of parks and better schools where the families live. Maybe eventually when your kid goes, kids go off to college, you're going to move it to someplace else, depending on what kind of type of empty nester you are. I mean, maybe you move it back to the young people to party, maybe off to the old people, who knows. Things are kind of different now in, in 2025. I mean, the best and the brightest have realized that on land, things are static, things are boring. It's the same old governments, the same old politics, doing the same old crap. People like it better on the ocean where you can actually vote with your house instead of voting for some politician and, you know, you know, no matter who you vote for, some politician's going to get elected, right? I mean, it's not like it really matters. Out here, you can attach your house to whatever kind of city you like, and that just makes for a different, better place. So there's a lot of brain drain. Governments on land don't like it. They're losing a lot of money, a lot of tax revenue, a lot of best and brightest going to this new frontier. People are using the ocean, which is the frontier open now, as a base to explore space, which is going to be the next frontier. So things are just more fun out there.